guys, welcome back to Life Full of Creativity and today I will be making a Mother's Day card. So as you guys can see, Mother's Day is coming and there's a lot to do. I need to buy, get, make a lot of gifts and right now I'm going to make her, making her Mother's Day gift right in front of you guys. So I'm just going to be showing you how I like to make my Mother's Day card. And this time, time um, this year, I'm trying to go for something really different and an ordinary than a normal card. So yeah, so here I have these spring flowers. So I'll be teaching you guys how to make these roses in all, and then I make these leaves. And yeah, so it's going to be a bunch of flowers in a whole like card. So can't wait to show you guys how to make it. So let's get started. So I've got this piece of paper here, I just like, it's like this much of an A4 paper, like half, half of an A4 paper. And all you need to do is just make it like a fan, so all you need to do is just fold it by just a little bit, turn it around, fold it again, turn it around, fold again, turn it around. Fold it, then you just carry on doing that same method over and over again. So, just like that. Make sure it does not enlarge in, guys. And I'll be back once I do all of those. So, now I've got this. Wait, and you need a rubber band, guys. So, this is a tiny loom band. Yeah, guys. And I'm just using that for it. So what you need to do is you need to make like a little tiny fan with it. So you just need to hold it by like an area where you think it's good. And you just extend it like large. Like just carry on pulling it open. And then you pinch that part and you it, it like widen out the bottom. Then you get your little loom band over here. And tie this part up like two to three times if you're gonna do four best if you do four once you've just applied like tied it up you widen it out properly so they end up touching each other so it should be something like that nice it's getting pulled very much now we need to we don't need to worry about that right now we'll worry about that later as long as it, that is tied up nicely now we need to do is get the card and we need to place our flowers. So I'm going to put this one. Let me just tighten it up again. Just like that. Just make a rose. It's just the rose, guys. Like that. I will just glue them on. It will be something like this, guys. I need to make two blue ones over here. So what you need to do, guys... Is just get this so this is a quarter of an A4 paper so you fold it and you fold an A4 paper twice and you should get this size now what you need to do is just you just need to get the scissors and you need to cut a nice round circle out of it like that now you just need to cut into it like that until you get a nice round circle you get go in and in until it gets smaller just like that really small the end should be very small okay so now once you have this you just need to get the right at the end of it and just start folding oh the cut i did at the end was really bad so I'm just gonna like that. So you just get it and you start making it into this round circle. So you start making it into a cone type of thing. Yeah, you just cone, go around, go around until eventually it becomes a rose. So guys, I also need to get my hot glue gun prepared so that I can stick these onto the paper. Like that. 
So once you make that into a circle, you just need to let go of it. Go the opposite direction you were folding it. Just like so. And it should be just a dot attaching it. And look, it makes a tiny mini baby rose. See guys? But you need to apply it with some glue. So it should be nice and big. These ones are too large. But you know, when you put them together, they become smaller. And I'll be back once I make my last flower. Well, slash rose. So guys, one thing you do know is it's meant to be a card. So I do need to have like some sort of card. So I already stack one rose on. That's my first ever rose on the card. Now I want to colour. What colour do I want to do? Mm, think about it. Uh, Pink. I want to do pink. So I'm just going to stretch this out. To, I mean, roll this right back up. And add those extra pieces of paper. Then it's like this side, just let it flow out a little bit, just like let it loose. Then you just add a bit of hot glue to the end, or any type of glue that you prefer. And you just stick that bit on. You add some hot glue down. Make sure it's the same size, around about there, perfect. Stick some glue on the bottom. Where are you going to place it now? Around there, perfect. And now I've got this nice blue-wish colour. Yeah, it is blue. It's definitely blue. Just round that up again. This is my last example until I do it by myself. And then I'm just going to enlarge it just by a tiny bit. I'll put this back on there, see where I need to place it. Yeah, around there, that looks good. So guys, now I'm going to teach you how to do this. So I stuck this on, I stuck all the flowers on, roses. Now I'm going to teach you how to do those, those leaves. So you just need to like get a bit of paper, green paper. And you, all you need to do is just like cut like half of this off. And cut, yeah. so you just cut. So you should have a flap. Now what you need to do is you need to cut this in half depends what size you want your leaf but i'm going to cut that in half and now i need to make it like my leaf so what i'm going to do is i'm going to go up cut down go back up cut go back up cut and cut so you should get like a leaf like this, but if you think it's too fat or too like weird looking, just cut it. Just cut the extra off. Just cut the extra off and all these pieces that you do not need. And I am done. I think over here with the leaf. Okay. Now, once you've done that, you got your sort of weird looking leaf, <laughs> like mine, and you just stick it on the side. So just get a bit of glue, stick it on the bit you just did. And let's cut the whole, actually put it on the whole thing. Just one line. Just like that, guys. You put that in the corner. Now you just need to make a couple more of those and put it there and there and that's it. So guys, I have now done with the leaves. Now what I need to do is I just need to get the, out the like, you need to trace around the, the flower with the card. So that's how it looks. I just need to cut off this part as well. Like that. And you just like trace around the whole like, bunch of flowers, just trace around the whole thing. Okay, just take all of those off. It should look something like that when you cut the ends off, see? And I will be back once I trace around this whole thing. After such a long time of cutting, I finally did that. 
I'm going to get pearls and stick them in the middle. I need to brighten this up because this card looks a little, you know, sad. So, you know, I'm just going to go and get some beads and I'll be right back. So guys, I have these really nice beads I found. I God knows where I think it's from a bracelet. But I'm just going to add that into it because I think these are really cute. And look how nice they look in there. And then I got these stickers next to me. And I'm going to spell out mum with it. So, can't wait. And I'm just going to carry on adding the beads. Just like that. Did I add this one? Yes, I did. Now, I just got these really nice alphabetical stickers. And I'm just going to... Hilarious at the same time. Oh, gosh. <laughs> okay. So, I'm going to get this too big. Is that still too big? Yeah, still too big. Just like that guys, now it's time to stick that on. Just put a couple of lines of glue along these. that fits perfect that fits perfectly now that we've got this little cube thingy not cube extra piece of paper on <laughs> let's just stick these on but i think the the, the stickiness has gone a little less so let's just add a tiny bit of hot glue so mum Guys, comment down below, who are you most closest to, your mum or your dad? Personally, I'm close to both. But when it comes to Mother's Day, I just like, there's so much ideas to get for her. And it's better ideas, so I love to get Mother's Day gifts. So do I like to get my dad's mother, uh, dad Mother's Day gift. Did I just say that? I mean, dad Father's Day gift. But, you know, look at this. You can't make this for your dad, can you now? Honestly. Can you make that for your dad, guys? Does that make sense to make this cute thing for your dad? Nah. So, guys, I have now finished. I have tidied... Not tidied up. I have not tidied up, guys. You cannot see anything. I am very clean. See? There you go. You cannot see anything. Okay? The mess is now hidden. Anyway, guys... I have now finished. This is my Mother's Day card. I'm going to write a nice little Mother's Day little thing in there. And I can't wait to give it to my mum. There's just a couple of days till Mother's Day. And I am super, super, deeper, deeper excited. I'll be giving you more ideas for Mother's Day. So we've made... What have we made for Mother's Day? Oh, I made that canvas that says love. I've made a couple of things for my mother. But, you know, I'm going to be showing you guys in my next video how to make a Mother's Day gift basket. I know, I know. So stay tuned for that, guys, because I need to show you guys that. I'm, I just got so much ideas for that gift basket and give you some little tips to get for your mum. So, yeah, guys, that's all for today. I hope you enjoyed today's video. Don't forget to subscribe, like, turn the post notification bell on and comment down below if you like the card i made or if you're closer to your mum or your dad so that's my mother's day gift card can't wait to give it to her even though there's still a couple of days gosh it's not even mother's day for me it's like my mom's mother's day and i'm excited for her more than she is but you know that's my card for her Ooh. so yeah guys that's all remember to stay creative and don't stop smiling bye